We were using a, uh, a spinning rod that we were floating down for some of the red snappers that we were catching. We also caught a real nice uh, gag grouper on the spinning rod today. And what we're using is 30 pound braid on a pen spinner anywhere from like a 460, 450 up to 760 size. Using a 60 pound monofilament leader. The fluorocarbon will help, but it always doesn't always have to be fluorocarbon. And then today we were using this uh, white bucktail jig with the circle hook on it and, uh, and one ounce size. We were putting a little piece of squid on that. We were putting some live thread herrings on it. It seemed to work really well. Some of our nicer fish today seem to come on the, uh, the thread herrings with the jig floating down. Just kind of like you would yellowtail snapper fish, but a little deeper scenario. We're fishing in 170 feet of water instead of 100 feet. So we use a one ounce jig instead of a eighth ounce jig. The other rod we were using today is a Paraflex star rod in 50 to 100 pound test. We're using 80 pound braid on it with the pen fathom on it. And the leader that we're using is 125 pound. We're not using fluorocarbon, but again, you can use fluorocarbon if you want to. Sometimes it will make a difference, especially on fish that are a little picky. Using a six ounce lead and a 13 ounce must add circle, circle hook. A lot of the baits that we fished on this were live blue runners, live herring, live pinfish. The, uh, the live pinfish seemed to work really well. We even used some large chunks of bonita to try to pick off some bigger fish. It was fantastic. We had really good weather. The fish, the bite was really good. Caught plenty of snappers, caught some really nice groupers. We even caught one gag that was probably between 25 and 30 pounds on a 20 pound spinning rod, which is tremendous to catch a, a fish that size, that caliber on, uh, on 20 pound spin tackle.